If you've got one of these regulators, you have a leak happening right here at the bypass valve. I'm gonna show you how to repair that with some O-rings. First thing I'll show you, turn on the air. Clearly hear the air coming out of here. We'll shut down the air now. Leave that off. All right, I'm gonna orientate shut off valve straight up to where the heads up display is. You can use a roll pin remover. You can use a center punch. You can use maybe even a paper clip to get this out, but I just uh, push, pops out the other side. Pull that out first. I'm gonna reorientate that shut off valve, slide it off. After I get that off, pair of split ring removal pliers. I like the angled ones personally. I'm gonna go in here, line up our pins and remove that next. After that, this piece will slide off. Pay attention to these square pieces because they're gonna go towards the regulator to hit that little limiting screw right there. Slide that off. This heads up display is broken, so it was a little easier, but normally if this is here, makes it a little challenging to get off. The two points of concern are on either side of this opening. This O-ring, as you saw, kind of crumbled, and this O-ring, get that one off. Get those two off, and then go ahead and wipe down the aluminum. We're gonna get our new O-rings. I'll link a description and picture of where I got these. I think I bought them in a hundred pack off Amazon. Make sure you're getting the right size shown in this photo. That'll give you the size and everything. Go ahead and roll those on carefully without damaging them. I'm gonna get this one down to that first opening. Get this second one on. Roll that all the way down past that opening there. I'm gonna use my little center punch to get it over the hump. All right, new O-rings are on. Next, take your hose with the square pieces facing the regulator, slide that on, take your split ring, slide that on, make sure everything's tight. Bypass valve, slide that on in the orientation as we had it, this pin up here. In the event you put this on and it's in the wrong position, if this is zero, you might have an issue where you continuously get airflow. So you can pull it off and basically adjust this as you need to be zero. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna turn on my air. Nothing's happening. So I'm gonna go back more. So find where you've got that movement and it shuts off at zero. If by mistake, this red knob moves, notice I'm at zero wide open, zero, wide open, nothing's happening. I'm gonna pull it off at the wide open position, go back to zero. Now you notice movement, that's where it needs to be. After that, I get my roll pin and I start it. Careful pushing this with your finger because it could penetrate your skin. And then I just push it in enough to make it flush. No more leak. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do for other videos like this. And uh, obviously liking helps me out. Appreciate it.